Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. I'm from Uganda, East Africa. I don't even know what to start saying. My heart melts with so much, with so many tears of joy and happiness. I mean, you not you never understand sitting here and seeing all the people the three people talking about what people back at home go through. I mean, um, I'm from a place whereby you can survive without money because you wake up in the morning and you go to the garden, pick something to eat and you know, I come from a tribe which entirely depends on cattle and you know, it's a hilly area. You go weeks and weeks without water because the hills, water is not running downhill. You can't, you have to survive on the water and leave the cattle to die. Have you ever lived such a life? Yeah, people here wake up and run to the supermarket where I come from. There are no supermarkets. In the shop, it's only soap, salt, basic needs and um, you know, there is no such luxury as uh, crisps and um, nice beer and <laughs> mineral water, a beer, no, um, <laughs> I call it beer, anyway, <laughs> oh, I would like to thanks to all of you who can speak for people who can't speak for themselves and you represent people who don't even know that you exist. I mean, I'm so humbled. I was seated down here thinking they have no idea what we go through back at home. And they're actually fighting and putting their lives at risk. And they don't care if they're going to be put behind bars or not. For the people far, far, far away. I mean, thank you so much from Africa. Thank you so much from... Oh, you guys are just the best people i don't even know what force <laughs> drives you to do the things you do i i'm not understanding no one is even paying you I, <laughs> graduated from the university thank god i got some money and i went to a town and studied that's why i'm putting on jeans and all but you know there are already children that are depending on me because the little money that we used to use for education you use it to buy food that was not had about because um, you grow your own food you depend on it so when there is no rainfall you can't plant, you know, you have to buy. So education is a luxury for some people now. And um, something else I wanted to say. If, I don't even know how to put it. That people in Africa don't even know that COP15 is going on. They, it's a few people who um, have gone to school or people like me. I think you're like four people who have come from my whole country <laughs> and traveled all the way to... Denmark. I'm even feeling guilty for traveling all the way to Denmark and I would have paid like for 120 children's school fees plus their upkeep for the whole year and I'm here trying to listen and you know to experience to see what's happening out here. Sorry, I have to stop I could speak to you. Thank you so much. about the love we all have in our hearts for one another and this world.